Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I have been fighting my USB situation here for about two hours, and I think I finally got this. So let's let's go ahead and get this down because today, today we're gonna cover one more multimeter, and believe it or not, it fits in this little box. How amazing is that, guys? You know the clamp style meters; they're used everywhere. But the problem is, is they're maybe a little too big. And I always like a meter that's smaller and it meets the same criteria being accurate, responsive, but at the same time, fully featured. So let's go ahead and check out the Unity. This is the UT210E micro clamp meter. Sounds kind of cool. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. All right, guys, here we go. This is the Unity micro clamp meter. It's got to be a micro clamp meter, right? Or they call it a mini clamp meter. And uh, I've never seen one like this before. And guys, if you don't stay up and up on multimeters, all it takes is a few months and you are missing the boat. And this is exactly the case. I was looking on economical multimeters and this guy popped up. And I thought, holy cow, a clamp meter is actually pretty useful. But at the same time, it's a fully featured multimeter. Let's go ahead and check it out, the Unity. And uh, I have not opened this guy up. I haven't taken a look at it. Kind of curious. Uh, first off, it comes in a very cool little case. See that? I wasn't even counting on it being in a case, to be honest. Very cool little case. Um, okay. That's interesting. Got some batteries. Instructions, because we need those. <laughs> Wow, look at this little dude. All right, all right, check this out. First off, there's a rubber over molding, and this is a little bit different than some of the other clamp meters that I'm used to, just being a straight on plastic. With this being a rubber older mold, over molded, I can't even speak tonight. Uh, it's very easy for me to go ahead and change the uh, parameter knob right here which is super useful because some of the other ones you have to just kind of, you know, really get your finger in there to, to rotate it. This is very unique, very small. See that? And uh, of course, it's got the inductive clamp so that you can put it around a cord and you can find out how many amps the device is pulling. So useful because it's non-invasive. Uh, this clamp meter right here, it can do uh, volts, Diode mode, ohms, continuity, and capacitance. No amperage here or uh, milliamps, which I use milliamps sometimes for leakage and stuff, but I really don't use it that often, right? So the spring is extremely, uh, extremely taut. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Extremely taut. The, the multimeter leads right here, not my favorite. Not my favorite at all because they're PVC. I can feel that right off the bat. So first thing we got to do, we got to open this bad boy up. It came with two batteries. I'm going to assume that there's no batteries in it. Correct. Let's go ahead and put some batteries in it. You guys knew that was going to happen, didn't you? I have never seen one of these guys running. Could be awesome. Could be trash. <laughs> it's quite the gamble, isn't it? But this meter is not very expensive. And because of its size, its features, all of the above, that's why I said that this is definitely something that I need on my channel because a lot of people are looking for economical options and lightweight, fully featured multimeters. And Fluke and some of those other large name brands, well, it might not always be in somebody's uh, budget. Or, you know, you get your multimeter stolen uh, out of your car or something. I mean, all it takes is once and you're get you're discouraged from buying like that quality of tools ever again. So here we are. Um, multimeter probes fit in the bottom here and th they go in really taut, really taut, and they do not come out too easily. So the banana plugs are really good. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see, let's turn on volts. And as you would expect from a multimeter of this style, um, it turns on very quickly, extremely quickly. Multimeter probes have shields over them. So they're semi-insulated probe covers. I have it right now on volts AC. And yes, I'm purposely hooking up to a battery to see what it does. 
Okay. See it beeping to beep at me? It's saying, hey, what are you doing, man? Okay, so let's do select. Millivolts. DC. AC. DC. Okay. All right. So the select button up here at the top, then there's a zero button, and then there's a hold. Now, I'm kind of curious, because if I zero for um, amps and ohms, can I, if I can zero this on ohms, that would be insane. But here, like, let's do this on DC. You guys, trust me, this battery is dead as hell. So <laughs> I would not expect much else. So in one polarity, I've got negative 5.48 volts. In the other polarity, I have 5.48 volts. All right, so the meter works rather well, rather quickly. Um, let's go ahead and switch the parameters. Okay, now I'm on the uh, diode mode continuity ohms, yada, yada. Starts up immediately with ohms. It, some meters start and they go immediately to continuity. This one here goes straight to ohms. And look, it zeroes itself out. I love when meters do that. When, when you put these guys down and the meter itself clears itself, it, it zeroes itself out. So here I have a 10 ohm load. This is, um, this is a beast. It's 250 watts. But it is plus or minus 1%. And that is pretty much what I would expect because there is a little bit of, uh, I, I guess you could say material. Uh, you know, it's a little corroded here on the terminals. I'm sure if I wire brushed them, it would be smack down on 10 ohms. Yeah, 10.0 right there when I cleared it away. So pretty quick. Uh, not the fastest on ohms, though. I'll give them that. It's not the fastest on ohms. little bit of seek there not much of a problem at all let's go ahead and hit this bad boy over again now we're on continuity mode okay one of the things that you would expect from expensive meters is the reaction time for continuity you can clearly hear that i'm i'm hitting and it's not beeping. And the beepy to beep is not very loud. Not at all. I don't know if that's adjustable. Probably not. It's relatively fast. A little bit of lag there, but it, it's actually pretty fast. So that is continuity mode. And then we're over in diode mode. And in diode mode, I wish I had something that we could hook up and try it out. You guys get it. You guys know the point. All right, so now we're over in uh, range scaling for amperage, and it goes 2 amps, 20 amps, 100 amps, and then non-contact voltage detection. So we can go ahead and we can unplug these bad boys because non-contact, see, see the light up here beeping, beeping, saying, hey, there's some voltage there. I love when they add extra features into it, and I'm sorry, guys, my, my uh, camera is absolutely glitching. Um, Hopefully I'll fix that soon, right? Uh, but non-contact voltage detection, super cool. Okay guys, and of course we have the main feature set of this meter, which is the current clamp right here. Uh, it has a scale on it for two amp, 20 amps, or 100 amps. And uh, that's AC or DC, uh, however your coupling is. And guys, I unfortunately I don't have any cords here that are prepped so that I could do this. And the way that you would use this is if you have two conductors in your cord, what you're going to do is take your clamp and you stick it over your hot lead and you run it and then it will tell you how much current is running through it. If you stick it over an entire power cord, you're getting, since it's, it's AC, you're getting bidirectionally and you're gonna get both conductors and you will get a null or zero reading. So unfortunately, I don't have any cords here set up but that's how you do it is you clip it over one of the conductors and then you set the scale usually a little bit high. Like I would set this one here to probably 20 amps. And then if it's only like five or six amps, okay, now I turn it down to two amps. Now I have my reading, okay? So non-invasive uh, current clamp can be super nice. 
It, it's especially nice if you're going to be working around uh, panels, anything to do with like panels or anytime you have uh, singular conductors like in a industrial environment, that's when this clamp would be absolutely beautiful. And I'll tell you what, also inside of medical instruments, uh, right behind the IEC inside the device, there it, the power cord is always broke out. You know, it always one goes towards the fusing, which is going to be your hot lead. And the other one usually goes towards your power supply, just straight without fusing often. Um, but with medical grade power supply, it would be fused. So, I mean, normally you're hot and you're neutral, yet they split off so you can take a measurement anyway. But guys, what a cool little clamp. Neat little guy right there, huh? So uh, that is the Unity, the UT210E. Neat little clamp. Um, very inexpensive. Let's see, how much was this little bad boy? It was definitely inexpensive. Let's see, go to my orders. I ordered it off Amazon. Guys, if you are looking for uh, one of these meters, go ahead and look in the video description. I will have the link so you can check it out yourself. This is a very lightweight option. It's 55 bucks. $55. Can't really complain with that. Anyway, guys, sorry about the camera glitches. This guy's really pissing me off, but it is what it is. So go ahead and check out if you are interested in a micro or mini uh, current clamp. It's a fully featured multimeter, except for the milliamps of leakage, um, which I do sometimes use. A lot of people don't use it. So this is all you really need as a multimeter. Seems like a pretty cool deal. 55 bucks. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and uh, go ahead and click the link down below if you want more information on this current clamp. Thanks for watching.